Welcome to Hemming Park, which is a stop on yourself guided tour that is rich with civil rights history. During the Jim Crow era in the 1960s, Jacksonville was known as one of the most segregated cities in the South. Hemming Park is the known location where the event known as Axe Handle Saturday occurred. This event is known as a turning point in Jacksonville's civil rights movement, as it greatly affected the image of the city, though Hayden Burns, who at the time was the mayor of Jacksonville, tried to minimize the events that occurred. Starting out in the mid-August of 1960, demonstrators of the civil rights movement began to organize nonviolent protests, which targeted segregated restaurants around Hemming Park during the lunch hour. The president of the local chapter of the National Association of the Advancement of Colored People, or NAACP, Rutledge Pearson, led these peaceful protests. On Saturday, August 27, 1960, approximately 150 to 200 white males descended on the downtown area wielding axe handles and baseball bats. They attacked the protesters of the NAACP's Youth Council who organized a sit-in at the White Only's lunch counter in the W.T. Grant department store and Woolworth's 5 and 10 cent store. With light police presence, the men attacking the protesters took advantage of the situation and hurled racial epithets and brutally beat many of the protesters including Rodney Hurst and Alton Yates. Fortunately, no one was killed at the attack, but 50 people were badly injured Violence escalated as the Boomerangs, an African-American gang, arrived to Hemming Park. The event made national headlines as police arrested 42 people, including 33 blacks and nine whites. By March 1961, Jacksonville's segregation of restaurants ended, and 40 years after the violent episode, the Jacksonville Historical Society raised funds to create a site marker in Hemming Plaza to pay tribute to the 1960s Civil Rights Movement and Axe Handle Saturday. Thank you for visiting Hemming Park.